Now let's talk about the scenario where you don't have any major customer issues or you don't have any improvement opportunity related to your customer. You don't also have the area of inefficiencies. Then you need to consider the third important category. This category talks about strategic goals of the organization. Hello friends, welcome back. Today we are going to learn one of the important topics that is related to how to select the Lean Six Sigma project. Now before to understand how to select the Lean Six Sigma project, we are going to see in more detail what is a Lean Six Sigma project and what are the important characteristics of the Lean Six Sigma project. Once we understood that, then we will go in detail to understand what are the four important categories in which we can initiate the Lean Six Sigma project. After that, at the end of this video, I am also going to explain what is the most effective and practical Lean Six Sigma training programs. So let's begin. Let's start with the understanding of Lean Six Sigma project. What is the Lean Six Sigma project? It is an initiative that uses the principles and tools from both Lean and Six Sigma. So we can see this is the focused and structured approach. Now, what is the final goal by using this structured approach? We are going to deliver best value to our customers. We are going to enhance the efficiency. We are going to reduce the waste and variation into our processes. And thereby, we are going to improve the quality of the product or services that we are going to supply to our customers. The next question comes in mind. What is the difference between activities and the project? So here I'm going to explain what are the important key characteristics of the Lean Six Sigma project so that you will have the complete clarity on what is the Lean Six Sigma project? It consists of seven important characteristics. The first one is it is focused on specific process for improvement. So instead of focusing on the entire business, we are going to focus on the process which is most critical at that particular point of time. Now this specific process can be manufacturing of your product that can be related to service or that can be related to delivery or logistics. It can be also the financial process totally depending on what is the need of the organization. Second, this is a data driven decision making process. That means we are going to use the data to identify our problems, measure performance and current state, analyze the root causes of the problem. We are going to validate the effectiveness of solutions that we have defined at the end of the analyze phase. And we are also going to put the controls by using systems and statistical tools. The third important characteristics we are going to focus on elimination of waste. This talks about identification and elimination of non-valued activities. It is also called as a waste from our business processes. Another characteristics, we can be focused on reduction of variation. Here, we are going to use the statistical tools and techniques to control the source of variation. The fifth characteristics of the Lean Six Sigma project is a structured approach. Here, we are going to use the DMEC or DMA DV approach to solve the problems or to improve the business processes. DMA DV is also called as a DFSS that is designed for Six Sigma. The six characteristics of the Lean Six Sigma project is develop a cross functional collaboration and thereby we can enhance the continuous improvement. And the last characteristics of the Lean Six Sigma project is we are going to quantify the results. Now these results can be related to increased or improved customer satisfaction that can be related to improved quality of your product or services or that can be also related to faster delivery time and reduced cost. Now let's go into the detail and understand what are the important categories in which we can initiate the Lean Six Sigma projects. The first important category is about, of course, about the customer. In this category, the projects are focused on improving customer experience. Let's talk about some of the examples here. That can be reduction in errors or also called as a customer complaints. Here we are also going to enhance the product or service quality or if you are belonging to the information industry, how we are going to improve the quality of the information that we are going to supply to our customers. It is also talks about implementing the future oriented customer requirements. Altogether, if you are going to track the customer satisfaction score, it is inclusive of all. So ultimate goal is how we are going to improve the customer satisfaction index. Now, if you are going to select the project for Lean Six Sigma, that must be your primary goal that you have to select the project related to your customer satisfaction. Now, let's say if you don't have any issues with respect to your customer satisfaction, then you can go for the second category. 
The second category is about areas of inefficiencies. In this category, we are going to take the projects that focused on identifying and eliminating inefficiencies in the processes. Let's take some of the examples so you will get a complete clarity on that. It can be related to streamlining your workflows, reducing waste from the processes so that you can have the smooth flow of your product or services, optimizing resources and improving the lead time. The project that you are going to take that must be include any one of these or the combination of these multiple things. Now let's talk about the scenario where you don't have any major customer issues or you don't have any improvement opportunity related to your customer. You don't also have the area of inefficiencies. Then you need to consider the third important category. This category talks about strategic goals of the organization. Now in this category, the projects are focused on organization strategic objectives. Now let's take some of the examples to understand what are these strategic objectives. This can be related to market expansion or increasing the share of business into your market. That can be related to innovation or how we are going to put ourselves or our product or services at the competitive advantage. Or that can be related to future oriented activities aligned with the vision of the organization. You can select any one of these area to select the Lean Six Sigma project belonging to this strategic goals of organization category. Now the fourth important category is about the financial benefits. This category is always present irrespective of whatever category that you are going to take the projects in, whether it is a customer satisfaction, area of inefficiencies or strategic goals of the organization, the financial benefit will be always there. But let's say the scenario where you don't have any significant issues related to your customer satisfaction, area of inefficiencies or you are also completely aligned with your strategic goals of the organization, then you can focus on the fourth category which is financial benefits. In this category, the projects are totally focused on improving the financial performance. Let's take some of the examples so you will also get the clarity on that. It talks about reducing the operational cost by reduction of the waste or any other important parameters. We are going to optimize the use of resources or you can also take a projects by looking at your financial loss matrix. Now this financial loss matrix talks about what are the various areas in which you are having the excessive cost. Now these are the four important categories in which you must take your Lean Six Sigma project. I'm sure you got the complete clarity about what is the Lean Six Sigma project and what are the four important categories in which you must take your Lean Six Sigma project. If you want to enhance your career with a systematic approach of Lean Six Sigma or I can say by the most effective and practical program in the Lean Six Sigma then I am going to introduce the last part to you. Here I am going to talk about the learn and apply which is providing the most effective and practical training program in the Lean Six Sigma. If you want to see that in detail just visit at SuccessfulCareerHub.com. Now this is the unique program in the world which talks about all these seven important essentials. The first important essential is about you will be getting lifetime access to the world class recorded content. Here you are going to see the great discussion that is going to be happen between the different people from different industries. So you are not only learning the theoretical concepts which are you are going to look into the presentations but also from the discussion with the people from the different industries. Second, these are the accredited training and certification programs aligned with ASQ, ISSC and Council for Six Sigma Certification. Third part is the only learn and apply provides that lifetime access to structured weekly live calls. So in this weekly live calls, you are getting an opportunity to ask your theoretical questions, your practical difficulties directly to the mentor. And at the same time, you are also learning from the experiences of other team members. The fourth part is about unlimited one to one mentoring calls. Entire training content is with the help of practical examples, simulations and data for the practice. Still, if you stuck somewhere and want to clarify all your doubts directly from the mentor, schedule this one to one mentoring calls. The fifth part is about lifetime access to community of like minded people with the same goals. So you're not just going to learn from your experiences, but from the experience of the other community members. Sixth part is about lifetime access for the statistical software to unleash excellence. Now this is also the one of the survey which was conducted to understand 
whether the Lean Six Sigma professionals after completing the training are having all the necessary tools to practice their learning and to take the new projects. And the surprising outcome of that survey was that they are always feeling the short of statistical software. So that's why I'm going to provide lifetime license for statistical software as a part of these programs. And last part is about learn from the projects and experiences of other community members. So there are many other things apart from that, but I've just mentioned seven important things here. You can visit the successfulcareerhub.com to see that in more detail. One more important thing. If you want to understand that from me, just schedule a free call with me by using this link vijaysabe.co slash session. Now, if you are going to schedule this call, there are three important things that you need to do. First, select the date and time as per your availability, add your name, your email address and WhatsApp number. This is the email address and phone on which you will get the reminder for the scheduled call. And the last part is please mention the reason or purpose for scheduling the call. I'm here to help you. Just you need to take that one important step for your successful career growth. Now at the end of this video, if I found this information useful, then please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for your valuable time and see you in the next video.